Good morning friends, it's Michelle from Little Farm in the Valley. So we are nearing fall very, very, very rapidly. We are actually into fall, but we've had kind of warm weather so far. It's actually been in the 90s so far this fall, but it's coming to an end very soon. I think by the end of this week, we should have frost. And I still have a garden full of peppers, tomatoes, I don't think there's anything else that's going to get really, you know, damaged by the frost, but the peppers and the tomatoes certainly would. So before that frost comes at the end of the week, I need to get my peppers and my tomatoes off. So today I'm going to focus on the peppers. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them, but I don't want to waste them. So I've done all of the things that I can possibly think of with the green bell peppers. I've done the dicing and frozen them. I have, oh, I don't know, maybe eight or nine gallon bags in the freezer. I have used a whole bunch in salsa and other canned pro canning projects. I've kind of exhausted my uh, ideas there, so I do kind of have an idea of what I'm going to do. Never done this before. It's going to be fun, but um, I won't tell you for, for now. I'm going to keep it a secret for a while, but for now, we're going to head to the garden and pick all the peppers. And I'm actually going to pull the plants out because with the frost coming, it's it's not like they're going to grow any more peppers anyway with the cold coming. So we're going to probably pull out the plants, pick all the peppers. And then once we're done with the plants, we can take them to the pen where the goat and the pig are and they will enjoy those pepper plants. So that is today's project, figuring out what to do with a whole lot of peppers. So at this point, there's not much left in the garden. All of this down here is a cover crop. There's some fall crops here. This is kale and radishes, some cabbage that I'm probably gonna take off today. And then all we have left are peppers and tomatoes and then some pumpkins over here. So anyway, today we're gonna take care of the peppers. So I'm probably gonna pull out the plants, make a pile, and then take off the peppers. They're planted pretty close to the tomatoes, so there's some that I'll probably have to dig out. And before 
before that frost comes, I need to pick tomatoes one more time too. Well, here's my pile of pepper plants. I was able to tear all of them out except this one. This one has a huge root, so maybe I'll rest for a while and try again. But So I gotta get all these peppers off the plants. helper crawled over here from the sandbox so he's probably going to throw all the peppers to the ground are you gonna taste them all first luckily these aren't hot peppers these are mostly bell peppers So I've made a pretty good start. Those are my plants that I'm done with, but I still have a lot to go. There's, there's some that are already bad, so I'm just gonna throw these right onto the garbage pile. Got a five gallon bucket full already. That's right, put him back in the bucket. I just brought up from the garden. I think we're just gonna call this the great pepper project because this is a lot of peppers and I still have a plant of chili peppers that I don't know if I'll get to today. I think this is plenty enough to tackle today. So I'm gonna wash them all and I have some towels on the table where I'm gonna put them after they're washed and then I'm gonna tell you what my plan is with all these peppers. peppers but even I didn't know I had this many peppers. So my original plan was to dehydrate the peppers and put them through my little dehydrator. I have this six tray, the round tray dehydrator, but there's no way my little dehydrator can dry all of these peppers. There's just no way. This is way too many so I was like there has to be a better way. I just but I just couldn't come up with anything. So Yesterday, as I was falling asleep, I remembered something. Most of you, about 90% of people, are familiar with the Laura Ingalls Wilder books. So I don't know in which book it's in, but in one of the books, there's this part where Laura is playing in the attic, and she mentions the 
strings of drying peppers that they have in the attic. So I was like, hmm, well, there's an idea. So I started researching it and apparently a lot of people still do that. They put their peppers on a string and hang them somewhere to dry. It takes a little while, but once they're dry, you can do whatever with them. So that's what I'm gonna do. And a lot of times they do it with like the smaller ones, the chilies, the jalapenos, you know, your tiny little peppers obviously will dry a lot faster on a string than something like this, but I did see people that were drying the big ones too. It just obviously takes a little bit longer. So I figure what I might do is I might take these monster ones and put them in the dehydrator. It'll still take a while because I have a lot of them. Sure. So anyway, yeah, the plan is to maybe take like the monster ones and put them through the dehydrator. But the majority of the peppers that I have here are kind of this size. So I'm gonna take all of these and put them on strings. Most people were using fishing lure string. We're not really a fishing family at this point, so we don't have fishing string. But I found something in my embroidery box. This looks like a very tough string. I don't know quite what it is. And I have a darning needle, which is kind of a blunt. It kind of has a blunt end, but I tried it and it seems to work. What they do is they actually take it through the stem. So I'm hoping it works because the only other needles that I have are like the really fine, like embroidery ones. And I would probably break that. So I'm going to try it with a darning needle and this thread. And I'm kind of going to sort them by size. Like I have a bunch of the teeny tiny bells, some sweet peppers. Then I have some banana mixed in here. I'll probably do the banana on a string. I have some teeny tiny jalapenos. Then I have these, well, these monster bells I'll put through the dehydrator, but all of these other bell peppers of various sizes. So I'm going to try to sort them by size. I think the biggest thing with the big bell peppers that people said was to not have them too close together because if you have them this close together on your string, there might be some mold and stuff. So we're gonna try to avoid that. There were a million ways they were doing it. There was some people that had the wire hangers and they used a clothespin for like the little chili peppers. I haven't even picked my chili peppers yet, but that's really not an option. I don't know that I have a wire hanger and I have way too many peppers to mess around with hangers. So I'm gonna try the string thing. So I'm just gonna start with a little one just to kind of demonstrate how I'm gonna do it. These darning needles are actually very easy to thread because the eye is so big. So they would take the pepper obviously pull it through the, the stem. And then the first pepper, you need to make some form of a knot because this is gonna be the end of your string and you can't have the peppers popping off. So I'm gonna make a knot here. And then I'll just string a bunch of peppers on here kind of had an idea. This isn't a very long string. I, I don't know really how long I'm going to make them, but I'm going to pick peppers that are kind of the same size. And I had an idea when I saw them using the clothespins that maybe when I'm all done stringing them, wherever I hang them up, I can take clothespins and put them like between the peppers to make sure they're not touching. It might be something I go back and do when I'm done. Put clothespins between them to kind of keep them separated. So, uh, yeah, I've never done this. I don't know how well it'll work. I think it'll work way better if I use peppers of the same size so they can dry kind of at the same, at the same rate. But anyway, once they're all dried, I want to make some form of a pepper powder. 
Well, it might be more of a pepper flakes. I don't think I want it all the way pulverized. I think just a nice mix of pepper flakes because I have, I have some jalapenos, some bananas, some chilies. So if I mix everything together, I might get a really good pepper powder with some little bit of heat in it and just be able to use that in all kinds of recipes and my peppers didn't go to waste if it works. So here's what it looks like so far. It's going to be fun. I know it's going to be fun doing it. I just hope that Mom, all the work pays off. Hmm? Mom, did you love tonight? Really? Did you see my pepper string? Mm -hmm. What is this? It's the pepper string. Does it look fun? Yeah. <laughs> I think it'll be a lot of fun. And by the way, I have no idea where I'm going to hang them. Like if I, if I could put them on the hangers, I have, you know, lots of places I could have put those, but these long strings, I really don't know. The, the people that I saw do it were saying, um, put it somewhere where there's really no bugs. Right now, with it being fall, there's quite a bit of bugs in the basement, so I don't know if I want them in the basement. So I'll have to decide even where in the world I'm putting them yet. It's just all gonna depend on how many strings I end up with and how long they're gonna be. This is the f first string so far. I just lost a pepper. Had one fall off, so I'm gonna just have to be very careful. And if I see any peppers that have blemishes and black spots, I'm probably not gonna hang them up like this one. I'm just gonna put those in the refrigerator and or cut it away. I'm gonna put that in the dehydrator, so I'll cut away the ugly parts. Anyway, the all the ones that I find that have that, I'm probably probably not gonna hang them. So I've reached the end of my first string here. And I figure I'll kind of tie it off. Well, this pepper that's on the end doesn't have much of a stem, so I'll pick a pepper that has a nice big strong stem, like this one, and try to finish off kind of how I started it, by wrapping it around a few times and tying a knot. So that's how I'm gonna do it. I hope it works. And I hope I find somewhere to, to even put all these. Depends how many I end up with, I guess. Okay, let me see if I can hold this up for you. Got that caught on the end of the knot there, so that should work. Well, there's the first string.
big head. Gus! There he is. He never misses a feast. My peppers that for whatever reason I decided not to string up a lot of them are the big ones and then the ones that aren't big have blemishes or they don't have a stem that I can string them up on so all of these I have to put through the dehydrator and I bet they're nowhere near gonna fit in there first of all and the ones that I do fit in there are gonna take a few days so I guess the rest of them are just gonna dry on the counter as we do this for a few days so i'm just going to cut them into smaller pieces cut off the blemishes and get my dehydrator filled their turn I might go in and take some of the nice ones there's no blemishes they were just too big to string up and put these in the refrigerator and use them because these are the last peppers from the garden so I will definitely save some and put them in the refrigerator this one has a blemish so I'll dehydrate that So after finally getting all of the peppers on strings, I have them pretty much strung up all over the house. Wherever it worked to hang up a string, that's where I put them. The majority of them are actually on these laundry hangers. There's some chilies here and just a whole bunch of the others. So we'll have to see at what rate they dry, how fast they dry. Hopefully it won't take too long. So it's been one week since we started drying peppers in the dehydrator. That whole stainless steel bowl that I have standing here, I was able, as the peppers were drying, I was able to keep adding peppers and keep adding peppers because they completely shriveled as they dried. And you can actually tell they're hard. So they're definitely ready. I think the last tray might not be. I rotated them this morning. Yeah, these are still soft, you can tell. These need another day or so. But yeah, that whole stainless steel bowl full of peppers, here's what I ended up with. Anyway, so we're just gonna take these out and I'm just gonna have to put them aside because we're still waiting on our pepper strings. So we're gonna check up on the strings, but they're kind of, they're kind of far from ready, the pepper strings, so. It might take another week. So this is drying at a much slower rate. You can see there's some drying happening on the ends, but overall, definitely another week for these, if not more. So for now, we're just gonna empty the dehydrator and get them all in a container. And we will have to just keep waiting I mean, there's some drying happening, that's for sure, but it's just going to take a little bit longer 
than the dehydrator. There's some small ones I'm sure that are drying. Oh yeah, that's drying faster. So we're just gonna leave these and probably come back in a week and hope that they're drier. So I'm just going to pour them all into a container. And once I have all the peppers dried, like I said, we'll see what we can what we can make out of these. And this one above my kitchen sink window, I really like this one. I think this is actually really cute fall decor. So I'm probably going to miss them once they're dried. For now, I really like them. Well, it's been almost a month and I still have peppers drying all over the place, but I have these that are already dried. So I'm putting them in this um, magic bullet blender with a grinder attachment. And I'm kind of pulverizing them into not quite a powder. You kind of have to call it more of a pepper flake, I guess. So that's what I'm doing with them. And just for... Here's kind of what it looks like. So you can see there's some powder and some flakes. And I have <coughs> a little bit already in a jar. These are mixed peppers. There's some hot, there's some not so hot. They smell amazing, but it's been getting into my, <coughs> into my nose and throat. So maybe it's a good thing that they're not all ready at the same time, but it smells amazing. And I bet this will be great for like breakfast and casseroles and stir fries and all kind of thing. And the best part is all of those peppers, all of those end of the season peppers did not have to go to waste. So that's the plan with all the peppers. Once they're all dry, I will be pulverizing them all into this pepper powder or pepper flakes. I think you kind of have to call it a flake. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you never miss a video. And we will talk to you soon.